Welcome back to From the Bench, everybody. As always, it's Eric, and today is my 2023 Toronto Sports Card Expo pickup video. So this is every card I got at the expo while I was there for three whole days. Uh, I sold a lot. I bought a lot. I traded some stuff. Um, did a little bit of everything, all the cliche things you hear on all these like sports card vlog stuff. Uh, there is three days of sports cards vlogs. Uh, if you guys want to go watch those on the channel also, day one, day two, day three. Uh, also make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Lots of stuff on the channel. I open a lot of boxes, do some sports card uh, show vlogs. I do some PSA reveals, all that other stuff, um, along with some, you know other things coming in the future. So, uh, but it should be a pretty good uh, review video. Like I said, I spent a ton of money. Um, more than I expected. And some of the cards laying around me now, uh, right now, pretty impressive. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, you guys will all see that. And depends on what time is left at the end, I might just give some opinions on the show and whatnot. But anyways, turn the camera around and uh, yeah, first pickups. So actually these were the second pickup of the show when I got there, um, PC items. This, that's the easiest way to put that. Uh, Ivan Barbashev is my guy. Not a uh, St. Louis Blues fan, as you can see with the McKinley behind me. Um, Ivan Barbashev played for my local team. Big fan of him. Come around the corner, and uh, these two guys are staring at me in a showcase. Um, I'm like, are you kidding me right now? Like, there's a high gloss there. Uh, you just It's just stuff you don't, don't ever see, right? It's a high gloss out of 10. Um, so, out of 10, high gloss. Uh, Ivan Barbashev. <laughs> Uh, and the acetate, there's like one sale ever on card ladder for an acetate. Uh, don't know if it's this one or not. I, it was on eBay. I missed the bit. I was so angry at myself. I uh, missed the auction for it, everything else. And then the other 25, uh, premier rookie patch auto, uh, the guy pulled it out. He said he bought a Ivan Barbershev lot. Um, and that was in there too. So just some like super low numbered, uh, Barbershevs. And for me, I always kind of said like, I know I missed out on a really low numbered, uh, Philip Rivers, who I also PC um, a little while back, and it's just like just being like stingy and being like it's just like if I really want that card, and for me, if it's a guy that I collect, um, that I'm you know, it doesn't really. I just want those cards in my collection, right? That's a PC thing. Uh, it makes it a little bit different, obviously, than investing or any of this other stuff. But um, like I said, three cards that I'm super happy with. I you know probably would never have a chance to get any of these three cards again in the future. Uh, or it could just be kind of a crap shoot. So as soon as I came up to that table, I was like, okay, I'm leaving this table uh, with these cards for sure. Did some trading, uh, some a Caulfield, a Jack High PSA 10, uh, Canvas Black, uh, just a bunch of stuff. Lucas Reichel, uh, Canvas PSA 10. So it was a good trade. I was happy. Uh, I even got some cash in the deal. So um, was very happy overall to, to add these to my collection. So uh, next up, uh, I picked up some basic PC stuff. Uh, Matt Duchesne, former Moncton Wildcat Bo Grew, former Moncton Wildcat Jordan Spence, and then a Charlie Coyle Ultimate uh, introduction. So nothing too, too crazy there, um, but just like I said, mostly just PC stuff. And then the uh, Charlie, Charlie McAvoy I'll, I'll end up giving away. Um, speaking of giving away, uh, we I got a ticket to go into a free, flawless football break uh, through eBay. I was like, sweet put the ticket in, got the email, said, hey, show up at uh, Sunday at 11 o'clock a.m. Uh, for this. You have to be in person, everything else. Show up. Uh, so did probably, I don't know, 15, 20 other people. And apparently the product didn't show up. So eBay felt bad and they gave away some boxes. I am getting a Synergy box. Um, first time ever opening Synergy. Probably the last. Um, same thing. This is actually, I opened this box too. My day two vlog uh, started out with no mic. Day three vlog also started with no mic and we were opening up this uh, this stuff so um, had to actually opened it on the for the channel but there was no audio so I just I left it out but uh, Mark Shifley William Eklund auto it's probably the best hit out there Lucas Raymond out of two ninety nine a JT Miller at four forty nine Cider eight ninety nine Kopitar at a four ninety nine and then the Spencer Knight kind of bounty program so was you know they didn't have to give us anything so i appreciate them um but yeah that was the uh the hits from the box of synergy uh next up i also on day two when my mic was working i opened up a hobby box of series one from 2019 2020 
Jack Hughes and Quinn Hughes. Uh, they were all the rage at the show. Uh, it was Everyone was looking for Jack and Quinn Hughes and Elias Pedersen. It was crazy. Um, so I said, no, I'll take my luck. There was one hobby box left uh, at this booth. It was 225 uh, No tax. Bought it. Uh, and here are the hits from it. The Patrick Waugh, a Wayne Gretzky, and a Portraits of Makar. So those are my three hits. Um, Vitaly Abramov was one of my young guns. All the young guns get given away to kids uh, that were sitting in the upper deck uh, breaker area. Um, just, you know, uh, I, for me, I didn't want to carry more like $1 young guns that I didn't want um, in my case just because the case was heavy enough as it is. And I was trying not to take up a bunch of room, so I just gave them away to some kids. Um, you know, hopefully they enjoyed them. So uh, next up, I can't remember where I grabbed this. I'm trying to remember, but uh, Ivan Barbashev, Marquee Rookie, Retro, Auto, Red Rainbow, not numbered. I can't remember if I have one of these or not, but it was one of those things. I think I got it for a really, really good deal. Um, and so, but he said, like, if you want it, here it is, blah, blah. Um, I can't remember how the conversation came about. I think I probably just mentioned that I PC him or that I PC random guys or something. And I was like, yeah, like, I, you know, I barbershop as part of my, part of my CC. I think, but he just like pulled that out. He's like, oh, here you go. I was like, oh, well, that's, I'm going home with this apparently. Uh, next up, uh, some value box stuff we'll go through. Um, pick these up. I just thought they were cool. I've done really well with random like legend um, cards. So out of three thousand for the uh, Timu, this isn't numbered. Uh, this is numbered out of a thousand. So just some cool stuff. Like I said, just lower numbered or just numbered stuff, and then just a cool, good looking auto kind of refractor finish um, that does have the removable protective film. Um, you know, just, once again, it's things that I've, I've done well with in the past, uh, while looking through value boxes. Next up, we got, uh, I think my only, one of my only football cards, uh, we got George Carl Loftus. I just really like this guy coming out of the draft. It's number 17 out of a hundred. Then he was a Purdue. Now he's with, uh, the Taylor Swift team, uh, the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, so George Carl Loftus, a little select. Uh, draft picks uh, card. So, once again, just really good defender. I like the kid coming out of college uh, before the draft. And there we go. Next up, I uh, did these this deal um, with Mint Inc. 10, I think on Instagram is what it was. Uh, this card which might be my best pickup of the weekend. Um, I'll put the comp down below. It's like a $60, $80 card. Um, on card auto, Jason Elam. I didn't even look up the comps. Like I literally, my buddy found it in a box. I said, he's like, do you have any interest in that? I said, oh yeah, like hand over both digging through the boxes. Um, so I just I said, cool auto, just a different, nicer refractor. Uh, it's from uh, 2000 tops. So anyways, cool card. Uh, another, just a punter. Uh, this is out of 49 though. Uh, Brees Hall out of 99 from Rookies and Stars. And then oh, just a Will Levis, uh, Panini, just a base card, but there's not a whole lot of there. Um, I do have a box of Bowman U 2021-2022 uh, that I got for a really good deal at the show also, so I'll probably be opening that. Have the chance at pulling a Will Levis in there, CJ Stroud, Bryce Young, um, kind of all the big guys. Also in that same, uh, that same dealer with Mint Inc. Uh, 10, uh, I also picked up these. I picked up all those football for $20. Picked up all these for $20 too. A Theo Fleury, a Chris Jury, uh, a Sean Burke, the Goalie Whisperer, and a Tommy Sallow. So just thought they were cool. They're all legends. They're all guys that were household names at one point. So decided to pick those up for $20. bucks. they are all on card autos. Uh, nice little set. Um, go with these ones next. You would have seen this in one of the vlogs too, but just some cheaper stuff. Noah Hannafin. Uh, Brandon Gormley, just PC guy because he played for Blunk Wildcats. Jordan Spence, didn't remember if I had this or not. Uh, French of Jordan Spence. I just think he's playing really well. Uh, same thing, former Moncton Wildcat. Joel Erickson, I'm going to look to probably grade this um, along with the Charlie Coyle. Not sure about the uh, Nick Felino, but definitely will for the Chandler Stevenson. Uh, 
things I'll look at grading like the next little next week or so. I'm just looking to uh, make a pile of stuff. I I have some cards ready to go. I just want to add a couple more. I got a couple hobby boxes from the show, uh, four in total that I'm, I want to rip and see what's in there before I ship everything off. Uh, next up, I thought I picked up three of these. I can only find two. So Luke Evangelista. I was paying twenty dollars a piece for these. Um, different dealers, everything else. One of them was in the Bowman U, um, uh, Bowman U box or with the Bowman U box. Uh, I got that both of them for a hundred bucks. So I was valuing this at kind of twenty. They sell for twenty three, twenty five dollars, whatever it is right now. Um, and the Bowman U box I got for a really good deal. Um, obviously eighty bucks. And then this other one uh, was at a dealer when I first walked in, saw it, uh, went went for it one day, asked what they'd do for a price. I said, would you take 25 But he said, no, I sold a couple yesterday. I don't, you know, I'm pretty stuck on that price. Went back later. It was a different guy. And I said, I think maybe the next day. I said, like, you know, would you do 20 You know, he'd been sitting there for a while at that point. He said yes. So uh, two, Evangelista, same thing. Looking at probably grading these. I'll have to look them over and stuff. But um no, just, just a guy I'm high on. I think he'll be uh, pretty good in the future. More young guns that might look to grade. Boldy probably won't because of there's some chipping. Um, but these Mace McTavishes, it was, you'll see more of these guys coming up here. But these were two guys that I was kind of said going in that I wanted to pick up some of. Uh, I didn't want to pick up a ton of young guns, but these just looked pretty decently clean. So I said, you know what, I'll take the risk. Uh, I'm going to look them over a little better, see if they have that print line. Um, but I might just send these anyways, see if I can uh, get some 10s on them. Uh, like I said, the Boldy, it's got a little bit of a chip up there, the top left. So, maybe even the top right. So, not sure if I'll send that one or not, but um, anyways, I got, got a decent little deal on those. Uh, you know, especially because a lot of stuff, usually when they're in boxes, you know, they're, they're mangled. You know, a lot of guys know how to grade stuff nowadays, obviously. Uh, nobody's a stranger to it, so... Um, just one of those things. It's hard to find decent raw stuff at shows sometimes. Uh, next up, we got uh, this. It's Matt Boldy. This was actually the first deal of the day. Probably won't grade it. it looks like it's off center, um, but it's just I got a good deal on it. Just once again, guy that I'm pretty high on. Thought I'd take a chance at uh, grabbing one of his cards and and kind of going from there. Uh, next up. I'll go over here. Same dealer, I think two days apart. Um, stack uh, stack.ca, I believe it was. They're in the, the, the vlogs and stuff, but I ended up picking up uh, both the Mason McTavish clear cut and the Matt Boldy clear cut. So both PSA 9s, but clear cuts are hard grades. Um, they have surface issues, everything else. I find a lot of them are off center too, but you know, it's just. Two guys, like I said, um, picked this up one up first. They were super easy to deal with. I say it in the vlog too, like really easy to deal with. Picked up the map, uh, the Mace McTavish, and then picked up uh, literally one of the last deals of the day on Sunday. Uh, picked up the map Boldy. So pretty happy with both those. Like I said, guys that I went in knowing that I was looking to pick up uh, at the draft. Or at the draft. <laughs> at, at the card show. Uh, picked this up a trade night. Uh, the first trade night on Friday um, was exhausted, but seeing the this guy had this out at a table. This is like a pop twenty um, future watch auto PSA ten of Taylor Hall. I said it before. It's the reason why I picked up some of his stuff in the uh, last couple months. Playing with Connor Bedard. Connor Bedard is the hottest name in the hobby. Um, so PSA ten, super low pop. Uh, everything else, you'll just hear his name right. If he can stay healthy at all, that's me knocking on wood. Um, like I said, passing over to Bedard, getting passes from Bedard, everything else, he'll just see a little bit of residual uh, or just become a little bit more relevant, right? Doesn't have to see a huge bump, just as long as he's relevant, it kind of makes a little bit of a difference. Uh, next up, what are we going to go with next? We will go with, we'll go with this one. So I picked this up from a viewer of the channel. I won't mention his name. I, I don't want to uh, out him. I asked him if he wanted to be in the video for the, when I picked it up from him. He said no. So if he wants to comment down here uh, that it was his, great. Uh, but I don't really want to out somebody otherwise. But Ryan Getzlav, 
Thanks for that auto. Just super nice out of 25 ultimate rookies patch auto. A guy that I think probably gets in the Hall of Fame one day. So really nice card. Like I said, I just nasty. It's just that's the kind of stuff that I like picking up. Uh, Gets is a guy I've, I've liked forever. Um, I've just I've always liked the guy, Team Canada stuff, all that other jazz. Uh, and then like his interview on Spit and Chocolates was one of my favorite, uh, just because he was really down to earth and joking with the guys. And then he went on the sandbagger and he was just got completely buckled, but he was he was really good to deal with, uh, really good to to watch in, in that whole thing. Uh, Pick this up, one of the same thing, another one of the last deals of the day. Uh, Maddie Kachuk, Premier Patch Auto. So, big fan of that. I just like, I like Premier. I just, I think it's undervalued for what it is. Um, yeah. Next up, last card of the day, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Mason McTavish, Future Watch Auto, Clean Auto. So, I'm going to try to grade it, see if I can get a 10. A lot of them are off, like, seem like they're top heavy, but I'm going to take a chance to see if I can get a 10 on that. Same thing, once again, guy that I obviously am high on. I think think pretty highly of him. I've thought that about him for a long, long time. So uh, go to this one. Picked up this also. It's got a little bit of some, some surface issues on the kind of the foil it, there, but Timmy Stu, another guy that I really like. I just wanted to pick up something other than, like, basic young guns. Um, so patch auto of Timmy Stu. Out of 99, like I said, with just some foil issue there. Thicker cards with corners and stuff, or you know, get some whitening, but still just a beautiful card. Uh, next up past that, we'll go with these. Uh, this was in the video too. I kind of just did the voiceover for it, but picked up the Beckett Raw card review. He had just paid for it. 9.5 at Jack Hughes. I'm literally going to slice that open, send it off to PSA. Uh, looking to get a PSA 10 on that. And then I might crack this too. Uh, Austin Matthews, BGS 9.5. Gem Mint Plus. Uh, might keep it. Who knows? Um, but just Austin Matthews, you know, guy has a good chance at winning the, the goal scoring title again this year. So, um, and it's Toronto. So, Austin Matthews, you know, two of the bigger names in the hobby, was able to pick up uh, one of each of them, kind of. PSA 10 of him was kind of something I was looking at uh, of Matthews. Had a good chance at one, and then uh, the deal kind of just fell through. Uh, the guy ended up selling it. So, And then one of my favorite deals, um, Sid, second year ultimate rookies signatures, or sorry, ultimate uh, signatures, second year on-card auto. Look at that auto. Just thing of beauty with Sid. So... Super happy with that. Picked that up from Lucas at Cumberland Cards, uh, Cumberland Sports Cards, and then picked up this also. Uh, Connor McDavid out of 25. Ultimate patch auto. BGS 9 with a 10 auto. Like, it's just, you know, two guys that run the hobby. Um, you know, the autos are just, you know, you look at some of the guys' autos, like McTavish's. Like, look at the difference between that, right? Like, just... A little this compared to like that, even like Matty Kachuk, right? Just the old guys, even Getsy. Getsy gets it too. Getsy used to get it with it with his autos. So um, just just some really beautiful autos and some cards that, yeah. Like I would, I've actually this guy lives close to me. He's at all the Moncton shows that I set up at. I've looked at this card ten thousand times. I'm like, you know what? It's gonna sell this weekend if I don't buy it. So I end up uh, picking it up from him along with the uh, McDavid and then got this uh, given to me by Simon guy was at the show with all we can share a room with everything else uh, drove up with uh, there and back 14 hours from where we live so uh, pretty happy with that um, I gave him a he's a Montreal fan so I gave him a Gallagher national pa uh, national treasures auto um, so anyway, it's just good guy and he just said you know what you think you need this so I get the uh, 2020 Penny Chronicles, clear cut, uh, whatever you want to call it, momentum of Justin Herbert. So Herbie's my guy uh, as a Chargers fan, as you can see. Um, but yeah, so those are my pickups. I, my phone's going to die, so I'm not going to do a recap now. We'll talk about the, the uh, Expo in another video. Uh, we'll turn the camera back over to me in case this other one dies. Um, but yeah, so essentially pretty happy with the Expo overall. Um, I have no complaints. Uh, 
maybe I'll talk about it in another video, but it's just some of the prices were crazy. Some of the interactions with some of the dealers were just, um, you can't believe that you're actually hearing some of this stuff from some of these people. Um, you, just like I said, everything you hear, it's like, you know, I get, we get told that somebody was apparently selling Quinn Hughes for $150 all weekend. It was a, it's a $70 card. I'm confused how you were selling for 150. Uh, I get told from one guy, uh, I get told one day that the card would be $20. Um, it was just a Gabriel Forte premier patch auto. He's a four month Wildcats. The only reason why I wanted it and, uh, they sell for like seven bucks on eBay, 70 bucks Canadian. That's it. And one buddy told me 20 bucks one day. And I was like, I just, you, we both looked at your phone when you looked up comps. It was seven. I just walked away. I just, okay. Uh, went back like trying for like one last deal. I was like, no, what? If they're still there. Maybe they'll give it to me for 10 bucks. Um, so I went back and said like, look, it's, it's, they're selling for seven, six, seven, eight bucks. I'll give you 10 bucks for a thing. I'm going to pay from comps. And he said, well, let me talk to a buddy, you know, probably his boss or something. But he's like 30 bucks. I was like, well, they're selling for seven. She was like, yeah, plus $15 shipping probably, blah, blah, blah. I've sold a bunch of them. The card was there the morning before. It obviously has wasn't selling a bunch of them. Um, so I was like, okay, that's fine. I also don't know if he knows math, but seven plus 15 is 22. Um, it's super hard for some people, but that was some, just some of the dealers. Not the, anything, nothing against the Expo, nothing the Expo, uh, not a problem that the Expo has. Um, it's, just, it's just some of the dealers are just out to lunch with their prices. I, I'll never understand bringing cards that you are so out of touch with. Same dealer had a Spencer Knight PSA 9 uh, exclusive Young Gun. Last comp, uh, Raw, was like 160 Canadian, I think, 170 Canadian. I was like, I would even have paid the guy probably 200 or something just because I like Spencer Knight. I believe in him kind of long-term. Um, asked he had, Same guy asked the same guy, I'm pretty sure, uh, what he had on it. 1500 bucks. It's a $200 card. Just, just makes you... Like I had cards that I, I didn't want to bring uh, because they're down on prices and I don't just don't bring them. I Jordan loves here. They're down from what I want what I want to let them go for. So I didn't bring them to the show. Dealers should th think the same way. That's the way I work as a dealer. I don't bring cards that I know are super under what I want for them. Right? Like nobody, if they're close, maybe if you're like 10% 10, 10 over, right? It's a hundred dollar card and you know, you want 120 or 130 fine or maybe you can somebody can even ask but when somebody shows you a comp and you're like no i'm not selling it and or you're like two three you know plus x over the thing it just it's wasting a lot of people's time um i know some people said some dealers are really easy to deal with sort of um some of them were good and you realized who they were and I, you kind of just kept on going back to the same guys over and over and over again um so it was, you know it was, it was just a nice so nice to get out, kind of see how these bigger shows work. Um, like I said, some guys were pretty easy to deal with. You make a deal, they're willing to, to deal with you. Um, one thing I realized, though, trying to sell, um, nobody was interested in, like, Young Gun PSA 10s. Just they weren't uh, <laughs> at all in any way, shape, or form. Uh, I know a couple people were trying to sell some. Pretty much every dealer was like, no, not interested, so... Just the thing to keep in mind uh, if next year if you're trying to like lug around a bunch of young guns, like me, uh, PSA 10s, uh, unless it's like a huge name. Even then I had Stutzels um, and I found some of the dealers, they're just, I understand you want to price stuff under, you know, you want to get it for 80% of comps, whatever, um, 75. I got offered $400 for three uh, Stutzel PSA 10s. They sell for, I literally sold one on eBay for 220 So you know what the comps are. You know they're selling around $200. And uh, yeah, I got offered $400 for three of them. So the things you see at some of these shows, um, I am sure that's just the bigger shows and just how it works. But um, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy this. Like I said, this is my kind of my recap. Like I said, definitely picked up some things that I wasn't expecting to pick up. Um, but... If the deal's right, um, you know, to me it makes sense, like I said. And some stuff's PC. Like I said, I wasn't planning on picking up a high gloss of Ivan Barbashev or an acetate and all that other stuff. Um, I literally went in looking for 
McTavish and Boldy. Uh, I wanted it. I said, or, or McDavid Auto got both of those. Um, like I said, some stuff just lands in your lap, like that gets lab, uh, the Taylor Hall, PSA 10, Future Watch, um, all that stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, lots of other content coming up on the channel. Um, like I said, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Follow me on Instagram down below. For Eric from the bench, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys. So now that the camera's turned around, I uh, also wanted to go over some stuff with you guys. Um, good show overall. Like I said, I can't really complain about the show. Um, there was a ton of people. Um, vendors, for the most part, were okay. There were still, obviously, everyone has horror stories with some of these vendors. Uh, people being, I, I looked at a Spencer Knight PSA 9 exclusive. Last comp for a Raw was like 160 bucks. I asked the vendor what he wanted for it. 1500 so I was probably willing to, you know, PSA 9, give you a little bit of $200, whatever. Um, yeah, pretty much almost 8X uh, that. So 7X plus uh, what the actual value was of it. So that was crazy. Um, that that happens. Like I said, some people at the show, I don't know how they plan on making money because they just, they stick to these crazy prices. Um, we were told by my buddy, so looking at Quinn Hughes, uh, Young Guns Raw, and uh, he found one. He was willing to even pay over comps for the thing. Uh, he was really willing to pay like 80, 90 bucks for the thing because it thought it would grade a 10. Um, they sell for like 70 bucks, 60, 70 bucks, 75. Um, so he was willing to pay like, I think $90 for the thing just because it was super clean. Um, the guy had $150 on it and my buddy was like, I would offer you something, but it, like, he's like, oh, you just say offer then, like, it's fine. It's like, I don't know, like 90, 100 bucks. And the guy's like, well, that's the end of this conversation. And he's like, well, that's what the comps are doing. He's like, he's like, I don't know what kind of comps you're looking at because they've been selling here for 150 all weekend. So maybe somebody is paying $150 at this Toronto Sports Card Expo uh, for Quinn Hughes Raw Young Guns, but I can't see it. Um, like I said, some of these guys, I'm sure if you go back next year, their showcases will look the exact same. Um, it is what it is. So like I said, overall, uh, it was pretty easy to deal with a lot of guys. Hit card, uh, hit parade was really easy to deal with, uh, along with some other vendors uh, that were looking to buy and stuff. So, once again, you just gotta kind of weed through everybody. You know, you kind of you'll talk to people. Uh, there's definitely dealers that I went back to multiple times throughout the weekend, uh, and there's definitely dealers that I talked to once, and I will probably if I see them again next year, I probably won't even stop again next year because um, they just had a bad attitude or just were being kind of grimy schemey um i had one guy he pulled up a comp gave us a comp for an inscribed future watch for his base future watch um and said oh that's this is the last comp when i was also looking up the exact same time so i know what there was two comps for this thing um and he was going off the inscribed saying that's what the last last comp was so just some guys out there are just out there to be greasy um it is what it is it's uh I said those guys don't need to be don't need the time of day uh and like i said you'll figure that stuff out you just have to be careful and kind of know what you're looking to pay for stuff uh when you go in uh service isn't always the best in some of these places um so if you kind of know ahead of time okay look i'm looking for uh clear cut of boldy clear cut of mctavish uh you know whatever if i know the prices for that stuff off the top of my head i can just go off of that and obviously you get some stuff um like this gets lab the last comp on is from 2010 um so even that's hard to find um but yeah so it's uh he said you're not always gonna always know the comps on a lot of stuff but if you have certain things in mind sometimes it's good to have those uh, numbers in your head ahead of time so um once again hopefully you guys like this like i said it's a little bit of a different thing i typically don't have this much stuff to pick up uh from, from a card show um but like i said i just know that the camera was kind of zoomed out um, just a different way of doing it than I usually do, which is usually set up at my own table. Me walking around this time was a little bit different. So I wanted to give you guys a, a better look at all the things I picked up in case I missed something also. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Like I said, go check out the vlogs, uh, lots of fun times and all those things. The boys and I had a, a blast, uh, up in Toronto. So, um, once again, hopefully you guys enjoy this. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, Instagram down below in the description and for Eric on the bench. Talk to you guys later. Bye guys.